Alafia Aho Ase Namaste and blessings to all. Let's take a moment to give blessings to our fallen soldiers, those who have fought for our country, fought for our freedom, those who have taken the time out to actually try to enlist, to serve, even if the citizens of the United States, wherever you're from, did not have a chance or be picked to serve. At least you have tried to fight for your country. Right now, many of us would be speaking German or we would be enslaved. And you know your history, then you know the access to your freedom was those of our soldiers of the United States. We also have to thank our indigenous brothers, our native circle and tribe of nations that also became soldiers and fought for this country as well. Today, not just represents Memorial Day as barbecues, picnics, um, and so forth, and just going out and having fun. It represents being thankful for our freedom, being thankful for those who have sacrificed their families, they have sacrificed their well-being, and they have been the most bravest human beings of this world to go to Afghanistan, Iraq, and know that they may never come back, but they have fought for this country. For those who have fought for this country and who have never given up. On Memorial Day, it is to remember our fallen soldiers, those who have given their life over and over again, not just before, but currently. There's not many there's not much information on the media in terms of soldiers who have recently died just for our freedom. We need to give them a lot of thanks. In giving a lot of thanks and recognizing that PTSD is real when it comes to mental health and those who have fought for our country. There is said to be, hypothetically speaking, a different energy of PTSD that needs attending to when it comes to our veterans. They have lost so much and oftentimes they do not speak about what they've experienced and as many friends as they have lost are numerous. So, and have an empathy for our soldiers who are still here, as well as our fallen soldiers, we must understand that if you want to do something, say a prayer for those who have passed away, those families who have lost their loved ones, their children, their grandchildren, their husbands and their wives, their sisters, and so forth. In doing that, if you want to make a difference, simply light a candle and have a moment of silence with your family. That will also help to show appreciation to the veterans who have passed away on the other side. But also it gives blessings to their families. You never know what spirit of faith will walk with you in understanding that in the light of God. So in respect and love to our veterans, please know that we need to take a moment of silence as you would not be able to hang out at the river, barbecue, um, go to the beach, have family fun, have a couple of drinks if it was not for our soldiers that are here and not here. So in blessings to all of, all of our soldiers, alafia, aho, ase, namaste, and thank you for your service, your time, and your energy, those who are here and who are not here, in blessings to you.